Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today. Torigo. La la, Torigo. 305. 305. Now, before I get started, I do want to say, for the last eight days, haven't posted shit because I've been very busy with finals week, even doing stuff on Saturday and Sunday after finals week. And in fact, today, I am now free because I had to do stuff on Sunday to submit online to my professors before they started grading their material. So, point here is I've been very, very busy. And because I've been very busy with schoolwork, with real life, I had to postpone posting any videos on YouTube. However, now I'm on break. I'm free as a bird. Spread my wings and fly. I want to fly like an eagle. So, thing here is this Torga chapter is very simple, but it is laying the framework of another impressive ass ability for Torigo characters to utilize in the future. See, Torigo characters have a slew of innate powers. I mean, they can even, if they think hard enough, they can actually reality warp. They can pull what Aimaru did back in the heyday. Well, he will, what he can do. The uh, ultimate routine. And all of a sudden now, we're going to learn an ability. We're not we, because we're not actually in the Torga world. I would love to be in the Torga world, if not, if not for the fact that it was so damn dangerous. But the food, oh, mm, a guy like me getting jacked on food, fuck, yeah. oh, I'm in heaven, mm, there ain't no better place. Thing here is this, though. <laughs> They're going to learn the ability to control all of their cells, all 60 trillion cells. And this is just the start of learning the basics of Enbu. The newcomers can all control, I'm not going to say all 60, but they can control the vast majority of their cells. Honestly, like, it kind of reminds me, like to a certain degree, it does remind me of freaking Minority World. But... but Nah, man, because Minoru's too OP. It's it's too much. It's like, bro, the fucking minority. Ah, oh. but because in the sense of minority, it, it it's matter. It's not just cells. It's it's matter and energy. It's all that shit. But this is just the cell. This is on the cellular level. So we're not going that small. And the whole point here is to be able to do things like divert energy elsewhere. Like, they explain how Sonny, when he was uh, looking around the area to find his comrades, his friends, his mites, the EII, that monkey that, the monkeys that, that's been following them around, the newcomer, he was actually able to, like, hop around in ten times the gravity, where Sonny was struggling, obviously. So, this whole premise of controlling oneself to be able to divert energy, even some as universal as gravity, which I think, well, no, I don't want to say that's the reason why Ichiru can fly, because for him, it may have been the minority, where some cells or some some matter wanted to stay on the ground. Or, well, I'm sorry, in his case, for the minority world, most matter want to stay on the ground. But there were some that wanted to fly, so he said, fuck it, I want to fly, yeah. Oh, Ichiru, why the fuck did you die? Epic as fuck, man. But goddamn! That was my boy. That was my boy. You my boy, Blue. You my boy. Fuck it. Right, moving on. Thing here is this is not so they can beat Bambina. No one is beating Bambina unless you're a battle wolf. If you're a battle wolf, you can you. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, I want to see that. I really want to see that fight, man. That's a fight for the fucking decade. Bambina. Versus Battle Wolf. I, fucking, I, I, I would love to see that shit. But here's the thing. All right? <laughs> They're doing this so they can become the playmates of Bambi. And the reason why is because they want his balls. Like, like, fuck. Why is it his testicles? Like, can it be something more, I don't know. Uh, what's the word here? Can it be something more appealing 
than balls than nuts. Like, nah, they're going for nuts. And Sonny, he's like, yo, can you please not say testicles? Just please, not, not. I, I don't want to know that I'm eating a creature's balls. Like, this is not exactly what I have in my mouth. Like, I can't even say paws because it's not. <laughs> because they're actually going to do it. <laughs> Fuck. So, it's a little bit awkward in that sense, but it is what it is. That's the goal. And somehow. The balls of Bambina are going to wind up saving Komatsu, who's missing a heart. I, I, I don't know how that works, but it's going to work somehow. Now, of course, there is... I mean, because we have Sunny, Coco, Toriko. They're on board. But, of course, Zebra... No, man. Fuck that shit. I'm doing it my own way. I'm like, ah, oh, just, just for once, Zebra. Follow the pack. Why can't you do this? is the dude that, if not for Coco's abilities, and then, by the way, I really don't want Mitsutoshi to use Coco's abilities that often to where, oh, it's a poison doll, so everything's okay. Like, that to me, once you use it too much, it becomes a little bit more bullshit. Like, you mitigate a sense of danger if you use it too often. In this case, I think it's fine because it's not. If not for the fact that they did, they would have definitely have died. But let's not try and mitigate the, the sense of danger here. So anyway, the point here is that if not for Coco's interference, Zebra's head would have spun around several dozen times and flown off his body with the air. With the air. From the flick of Bambina's finger. So out of all of the Heavenly Kings, he was going to be done in the worst by a landslide. And now he has the gall to say, I'm going to go on my own. Like, Debra, what the fuck, man? Come on, just, just, just stay on board. Like, why do you... Like, everyone's on the same ship, and you're like, fuck that shit, I'm going to do it my own way. And then you just grab a fucking lipo and start fucking paddling. Yeah, I'm doing my own shit. Stay on board, you fucking twat. And then, there is something I got a question here. Kaka seemingly knows everything. And and to me, it's, uh, it's, it's convenient, but it's very suspicious. Like, I... Because in a previous chapter, I, f I failed to mention this before, but I'm going to say it now. In, in a previous chapter, there was a whole thing here with Coco and, and Kaka. And Coco, he kind of got like a vibe from Kaka. Initially, it looked like to me like like Coco was playing some shit. Like, like I was like, no, wait, Coco, what the No! Fuck! Like the theories of Coco being like Akasia's like, son, and then he's on some evil shit. I'm like, no, no, no. But... Obviously, I came to realize that the person who is clearly suspicious here is Kaka. There's something off, and yeah, she does know the Enbu things, and I can say because, well, she's been here for a long time. Well, actually, we don't know how long exactly. Oh, no. She's been there ever since the Green Pyramid, because apparently, yeah, uh, uh, Komatsu awakened her, or Toriko Company, when they were in the Green, when they were in the Green Pyramid, she awoke along with like another nitro or nitro but the point here is that she now knows Enbu she knows certain skills of Enbu and she's now teaching them with these BD pill bugs which themselves are convenient but at the same time in Toriko when something is convenient it just becomes under the category of food luck like, like it, 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 it's food luck it's a certain skill like you're not it's not convenient it's a certain skill that things happen to flow your way. Fair enough. But she's still suspicious. So even though Bambina right now is the main focus, gotta keep an eye on Kaka. You gotta keep your eye on the doo-doo. Okay? So that being said, the chapter is simple. They're now learning Enbu, the basics. Gonna be able to control all cells in their body, all six trillion. Just so they can be Bambina's playmates. So they can attain his balls in their hands. 
and Zebra, of course, doing his own thing. I want to see where this goes because this is going to be a phenomenal ability to to be able to divert energy that may kill you to the parts of your body and or outside of your body in the midst of combat. This is going to be a very powerful ability once they are able to hone it and master it, just like Food Honor, just like Golden Routine, and so on and so forth. This is going to be another staple core ability of the Torigo Verse. That's going to be OP as all hell, and then of course uh, that zoning out thing too. So overall, I'm done. King Lightning. I'll see you guys, guys later. Chapter overall, okay plus the good. Signing out. Rate the video, comment, subscribe.